Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video I'm going to be going over the P-Tweaks plugin which will allow you to remove all the lag in your server. Now in this video I'm going to be going over the installation, configuration, some of the commands, and other basic information like that. So, getting right into it, we're going to want to download the plugin at the bucket dev link. Scroll up and click on the latest version and download it. We can keep it and move it to our desktop and then we can open up our server folder go into our plugins and put that right in there after it's in there we can run our server to get the configuration files out and then when our server is done running and installing everything we can stop it and go to our plugins and here you'll have a p tweaks folder now these are different property files for different parts of the plugin so if you want to to better explain it you can go to the thread and he has a section for every single one of these so for example the auto save stopper we can go to the auto save instead of writing every chunk to the disk every two seconds this changes it to a custom time that you want default is 30 minutes so with this you can just change the time that it saves chunk making your server require less system resources. And then we have the chunk, pers chunk persistence. And it says this is a fully customizable custom feature that can be turned off. It will change how long chunks stay loaded. Chunks with a lot of visitors will stay loaded longer. And if not, to render again and again. This adding lots of performance to your server. This, will, this works for people just joining on the chunk or someone walking into it. So that just basically makes the chunks load only if they're super active and it changes how often they're rendered and loaded. So you can customize that as you wish. Then we have the monster limiter and this is self-explanatory. It allows you to limit how much monsters are in your server at a time and you can also, for all of these, you can enable them or disable them if you choose to. Now there are other features of this plugin like the save loader, RAM saving, Chunky, and TNT. So some of the direct features of this plugin is it massively reduces needless disk usage, checks free and total RAM usage with the forward slash RAM command, chunks load fast, use less RAM, speeds up the game mechanics so you use less RAM. So basically the overall functionality of this plugin is to reduce your RAM usage for your server loads chunk on custom time, chunks stay loaded when highly active. So if people keep joining or a lot of people are on a chunk as we went in over for the chunk persistence, people will well that chunk will stay loaded longer, making it cleaner and required less disk usage. Then we have the limit mobs and remove mobs which can be done with a command, which I'll be going over in just a little bit. And then we have the in-game commands, which are those. We have the fully custom configs, which are these. And then we have the TNT edits, which is makes it so TNT it doesn't lag at all under 10,000, which I'll show you a demo at the very end of the video. So now let's get on to some of the commands for this plugin. Okay, now I'm going to be going over some of the commands of this plugin. So the first command is going to be PTML and then info which will bring up some of the information that is currently going on in your server so currently you're in the world you have allow animals set to true, allow mobs set to true your max mobs in this world are currently 110 out of 2500 and that could be customized in the configuration and then we have the other worlds with those informa with that information for those worlds and then we can do this, we can do ptml EA, which is enable animals. So if it's disabled, it will enable animals for all the worlds. And then we have the EM, which is the exact same thing, PTML EM, and that will enable monsters. Now we also can remove animals and monsters, but there's one thing if it just prevents them from spawning. So if there are animals or monsters in your world, it won't make them all disappear. But you can get world edit and use the butcher command if you want all the monsters just to go away. So you can do PTML and then the 
PTRA, which is remove animals, and then you could do the same thing with PTRM, I mean PTML, and then remove monsters. And that will remove monsters for those worlds. And then you can use the RAM command, which is just simply RAM, and then it will tell you all memory listed in megabytes. You can see your free RAM, your total RAM, and your unused RAM. So it is just that simple. That's all the base features of this plugin. If I have missed anything, everything will be on the plugin thread. We're going to do one last thing, which is going to be a TNT test. So I'm going to go get World Edit real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, welcome back. Now I'm going to test the TNT. So I've got World Edit, and I've equipped this iron spade with the TNT brush. So I think that is a good amount of TNT for this test. And I'm simply going to set down some redstone torches in various locations and then run away. Now, Fraps is going to lag because there's so much events going on right now, but the server will not crash and the TNT will explode properly. So the server is not lagging at all, but my screen is because of all the crap going on. So I'm just going to back up from it and then you can see everything exploding and being awesome without the server crashing or the server slowing down whatsoever which is very nice so then if I go back to check out the damage there will be a pretty fair amount of damage so we can just do this real quick I might not do it this time but we can test test it boom as you can see lag is very very minimal when it comes to TNT. So, that is this plugin. If I've missed anything, all the information will be on the plugin thread. That Well, that's about it. If you are watching this on YouTube, there will be a link to the download in the description. And if you happen to be viewing this on the Bucket Dev page or the plugin thread, congratulations, you are in the correct place. Have a good day, and goodbye.